Hello. Uh, we are looking at the Psalms as our material for guiding us in our prayers during this time. Uh, this is Psalm 10. I invite you to open up your Bible and follow along as I read it. We're looking for thoughts for our prayer, food for our prayer, direction for our prayers, and God certainly gives it. A little bit longer Psalm. Uh, let, let's uh, look at it and and then pray. Psalm 10. Why, O oh Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts of the craving of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. He is haughty, and your laws are far from him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will shake me. I will always be happy and never have trouble. His mouth is full of curses and lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent, watching in secret for his victims. He lies in wait like a lion in cover. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed, they collapse, they fall under his strength. He says to himself, God has forgotten. He covers his face and never sees. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God, do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, O God, do see trouble and grief. You consider it, you take in hand. The victim commits himself to you. You are the father of the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evil man. Call him to account for his wickedness. That would not be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You hear, O Lord, the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed in order that man who is of the earth may terrify no more. Well, that's the psalm, and uh, several thoughts uh, strike me as uh, food for our prayers this day. Uh, certainly, we are in uh, a time of trouble, and sometimes it may look as though God has hidden himself, but as it says here in the psalm, verse 1, why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? He's not. He's an ever-present help in time of trouble. We'll see that a little later in the psalm as well. Uh, then, too, uh, the, the psalm uh, pleads for God to not forget the helpless. Verse 12, do not forget the helpless. And, and he won't. We are sure of that. But we'll ask God in prayer this day to not, to not forget us. You are the helper of the fatherless, the, the psalm writer assures us. And so that gives us confidence in our prayer. Also, confidence in our prayer that the Lord is king forever and ever. His reign lasts. And then verse 17, you hear, O Lord, the desires of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry. And so we pray uh, that God would certainly listen to our cry and give us the encouragement that we need at this time. Uh, let's pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, you are a great God. You are a God who hears the cries of the afflicted. You are a God who never forgets. And so, Lord, we pray for these blessings. We pray for these blessings in times where it may appear to us that you have forgotten and you no longer answer prayer. Remind us and assure us again, Heavenly Father, that for the sake of Jesus, you hear our cries and you are merciful to us and you, you answer our prayers, Lord. We pray especially for those who are feeling that way right now, that you have abandoned them and that they are without hope. Lord, give them hope. Bring people into their lives with the message of your word and your power and your grace in Jesus to give them hope that you have not abandoned them and that your ears are ever toward them and you will answer their prayers. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you do see trouble and you do see grief and you consider it to take it in hand. And so we commit ourselves to you, Heavenly Father, you who are the helper of the fatherless. We, we commend ourselves to you this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless your day. <laughs>